With Henrik Mkhitaryan and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang reunited at Arsenal, Goal looks back at other telepathic football pairs. Dwight York and Andy Cole Dwight York and Andy Cole combined to devastating effect as Manchester United won the treble under Sir Alex Ferguson. They started 36 matches together in 1998-99, with the Red Devils losing on just one occasion. Between them, they scored the 53 goals in all competitions, and followed that up with 46 in the next campaign. Fernando Morientes and Raul During a period around the turn of the millennium, Fernando Morientes and Raul were one of Europe's most feared strike pairings, leading the Blancos into the Galactico generation. Such was their close friendship, Raul was one of the witnesses at Morientes' wedding. Ian Rush and Kenny Dalglish Kenny Dalglish was starved of forming goals until Ian Rush was signed in 1981. Liverpool then won the league title in their first three campaigns together, with the deadly duo scoring 59 goals between them as the European Cup was secured in 1983-84. Xavi and Andres Iniesta Xavi and Iniesta changed the way the modern game is played with their precision passing for both club and country. Together they won four Champions League titles, among a whole host of other trophies at Barcelona, as well as helping Spain to the two Euro wins and the first World Cup. Wim Jonk and Dennis Bergkamp It's clear that two players have a special connection when they are both bought by the same club at exactly the same time. That was the case for Wim Jonk and Dennis Bergkamp. The pair impressed so much together at Ajax that Inter shelled out in excess of 7 million to bring them both to San Siro in 1994. Meza Ozil and Cristiano Ronaldo Perhaps the best foil Cristiano Ronaldo has ever had at Real Madrid, Meza Ozil created goal after goal for the Portuguese forward during their three years together. The pair were integral to the Blancos winning La Liga in 2012 under Jose Mourinho. Ruud Hullet and Marco Van Basten Having impressed for the Dutch national team, Ruud Hullet and Marco Van Basten, along with compatriot Frank Rijkaard, were signed by AC Milan in 1987. They helped lead the Serie A outfit to an unprecedented period of success, including three Scudetti and two European Cups. Frank Lampard and Didier Drogba The two attacking linchpins upon which Chelsea have built their modern day success under Roman Abramovich, Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard were unstoppable in tandem. Lampard provided assists for the Ivorian on a record 24 occasions in the Premier League. Andrei Shevchenko and Sergei Rebrov Absolutely electrifying in leading Dynamo Kiev to the semi-finals of the Champions League in 1999, Andrei Shevchenko and Sergei Rebrov came from nowhere to become two of Europe's hottest properties. Although they moved to pastures new, they were reunited as Ukraine reached their first ever World Cup in 2006. Fabio Cannavaro and Alessandro Nesta Fabio Cannavaro and Alessandro Nesta developed into the one of the best central defensive partnerships in world football. Together they helped take the Azuri to the final of Euro 2000, though injury did rule Nesta out of the 2006 World Cup as Cannavaro captained his country to glory. Alfredo Di Stefano and Ferenc Puskas Despite both being in their 30s when they were brought together at Real Madrid, Di Stefano and Puskas took no time in tearing up teams in Spain and Europe. Together they won two European Cups including the 1959-60 final, in which the pair shared all seven goals against Eintracht Frankfurt. <laughs>